Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to set up Elastic Job Agent in Azure SQL Database. Why? Because we cannot have SQL Agent. So for that purpose, we have uh, to do uh, what kind of job the uh, SQL Server Agent is going to do. The same job it is going to done by the Elastic Job Agent in for Azure SQL Databases. Let's get, uh, let's go do that now i will show you like uh, i have a server with name called text jammer 05 in that i have four databases one is elastic agent test test 123 and 1234 i'm now i'm going to deploy my elastic job agent in the sql agent databases currently it is now empty and it is in service uh, standard s2 service tire okay open your portal type elastic job agent click on create type here name can be anything type is select the subscription select the job databases here select the sql server select the agent okay and by default what are the databases which are having more than s0 service style those databases only we can it can be visible here okay click ok click create so created elastic one job elastic job agent so if you go and uh, refresh this database so all the deployment all uh, related sql agent related tables were got deployed uh, to the sql agent database go to database and expand that see the tables all the job related tables will get created uh, by default why because we have deployed our uh, elastic job agent in this database see all these tables and open new query on the SQL agent job and create a uh, master key after that uh, create a uh, and now what i am going to do is i am going to create a server group okay why because for example yeah, i am uh, i want to execute this script on multi on multi server on multi servers okay so that's the reason i am creating one group okay name can be anything here i am created as a server group now and now in that i need to add a server right now i am going to uh, add one of my sql server okay it means i am going to execute all the data on the all the databases what which are comes under test demo 05 i have created a server group in that i have added one server so my requirement is like that i need to run the job only on text test one to three i don't i want to exclude this one two three four okay so here you, you can write this command so i want to execute like to one two three four so i'm in execute this elastic job will run or run on only on these databases except one testing one two three four now if you want to see that I have created a server group in that uh, two, group, two memberships will be there one is like include and one other is called exclude so server is included and database was excluded here you can see all these details now I am creating a job name Called create test table my requirement is like I want to create a one test table in all the databases so I am creating a job on that and the second table uh, second step is I am going to create a job uh, here is the command okay here it is it is going to create a test table with a test table with only one column called text ID with the init and not null parameters 
and which group I am going to create in the subwork group. Select that and click execute. And now I am going to start manually. If you use this command, just you need to replace. If we have created any other job, another job, so just you need to replace here you are with your job name. Select and I click execute. The command was executed successfully. Now, if you want to see that everything, targets, groups, everything, you will get some info here, right? The same thing in short manner. If you want to view the top level executions, you will see that. It was successful and when it was started and when it was attempted, okay? And uh, part of the execution status, let's see that. This is the job execution ID. Okay, job ID and uh, successes and same name. Okay, and there is no nothing special in that. So, and apparently, if you want to stop any job, so first of all, you, you need to this, view this thing. So there are no currently actively running the jobs. Okay, if you are, if it is any running, just copy the execution ID what you see here and replace here within these quotations and execute that. Right now I don't have any, so I'm not executing this one. Now, for example, if you want to delete a job history prior to the date, so if you execute this. will get uh, the job history uh, will get deleted or uh, Facebook older than this date okay and uh, if you want to schedule okay so the job name is like uh, here you need to create table test right So if the job is like uh, if for example I have a created one store procedure that store procedure is going to defragment the tables so that I need to run every uh, 24 hours so like here you need to mention hours and you need to mention the in at what uh, frequent time like here you need to mention 24 or for every 24 hours it is going to run currently it is going to run at 15 minutes well here you can see that if it is only uh, one to run once you need to mention here, here you, If you want to run that in minutes you need to execute so it is in hours it, Like this you need to mention here in the scheduled interval type and you need to mention the count as well So now we have executed uh, all the tables so check and uh, check like the server and click on refresh So the job will be created in this as well. See here, here we can see the dbo.txt. Now go to test database and test one two three and search one two three four. Click on see here we are able to see the test database. Now we need to check under uh, uh, testing one to three. See we are able to see that. Now we are searching to the one to three. Select the tables. Here we don't see the table. Why? Because we have excluded that. If we see the table, it means the elastic job is not working properly. See? 
the table has not created yet. Now you can get this kind of information in GUI format. Go to that, select the agent here. Here click on jobs. Here you can see the status and this job is going to run only once. And target groups here we can see the one that have only one group called server. And this is the credential I am going to use that. Okay. Yeah. So this is all about SQL agent. I hope you like this video. And meanwhile, uh, I have got this information by following this uh, all the scripts I have followed from this documentation. I hope you anyhow I will give my uh, my scripts as well in the description box and the web Microsoft documentation link as well. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.